Here's a shocker. Your business is worth 30% less than you think. I'm Ann Laracello, and I'm here with Mitch and Ray from Cybersecurity LLC. Uh, Ray, are you high? <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I am <laughs> high. I'm high on cybersecurity. But let me tell you, that's a big statement. Your business is worth 30% less. All right. Now, what? What? How can I say that? Okay, here it is. So, I'm good friends. I'm going to tell you a story. I'm good friends with a guy um, who owns the largest business valuation, online valuation company in the United States. I was talking to him and I said, um, by the way, it's called Value Source. It's down in Colorado Springs. The guy's name is David Fine, a good buddy of mine. And so I said, David, when business valuators are valuating companies in 2019 today, are they counting in cybersecurity in that valuation? Are they doing cybersecurity due diligence in those valuations for businesses? And he looked at me and said, uh, Ray, no, we're not doing that. And I said, well, in today's world, don't you think we should be doing that? He said, yes, I do believe it, Ray. I think we should be doing it. And he said, well, let me tell you what. I want to put you in contact with the National Association of Certified Valuators and Analysts, NACVA. These are the people in the United States made up of accounting professionals that um, handle and build the standards for value, business valuations. He put me in contact with them. We posed the same question to them. They said, you're right. We are not counting in cybersecurity. We're not doing cybersecurity due diligence on businesses uh, when we're doing valuations. And that is a mistake. We need to change the way we're doing it. And so they are now changing. These two guys sitting in front of you right here, talking to you right now, we're the guys who've changing, we're changing the valuation process for businesses. You bring us in on a transaction. If you're going to buy a company, if your job is to buy a company, you bring us in, we will look at the, your company that you're trying to purchase. We will knock down that price by 30%. How do we do that? Or even more, because we will prove on paper how they're not protecting their intellectual property. Mm -hmm. We will prove how their, how their company is insecure and their data is insecure in an environment where it should be insecure. When you put those factors in there, that price drops down. Now, if we're representing a company, if we're involved with a company that's trying to sell their business, we will pump the, we will defend the company and now your price, you can defend it. Our company is worth more than the competition because the competition is not protecting their intellectual property, is not protecting their data. We, we do, therefore we're worth more. That's the nub of this story. That's the key of the story to that 30% question. So that's actually a really great point. Do you think that these businesses underestimate the impact that this has, particularly when they're going to sell? Because that's a huge 30%. That's a big, big number. Well, I think we're, see we're seeing that the, the buyers in the marketplace are becoming more knowledgeable about it. You know, recently we had the acquisition of Yahoo by Verizon. Sure. And we saw that you know, after the breach was announced that they took a $500, $500 million haircut on the price of the, of the company. So, you know, that for Verizon, that was good because th now they got um, some of the cost that it's going to cost them to remediate mm -hmm. back. You know, for the Yahoo shareholders, that's not so good now. So there's two things there. One, how come Yahoo didn't uh, know about that, didn't disclose that early on? If you're selling, you want to start working with a company like us a year before you're planning on selling oh, wow, okay. so that you can get your cybersecurity ducks in a row. Assuming you have been working with us all along, but if you haven't, you definitely need to work with us because it's going to take some time. You know, if you want to make a statement that we're worth more than the competitor because we have our cybersecurity ducks in a row, then you need to have your cybersecurity ducks in a row. So when a uh, business is looking to acquire a different business, mm -hmm. is that something that you think enough people know that they need to be asking about? Where are your defenses and why is this going to make your business no more way. valuable? No way. No way. Mm -hmm. Not at the even the small business level. The small business never happens. Even at the larger business level where you have um, private equity companies buying companies and whatnot. Now, some of the more sophisticated ones are starting to figure this out. But by and large, it's not going on. And so, no, this is a conversation that needs to permeate our society, and it will. Take this conversation one step further, Anne, and that is when you go to the bank for a bank loan. If a bank is going to loan you money on your business, well, what are they loaning you on? They're loaning it to you 
on the value of your business, sure. right? And so now, right now, banks are not asking about your cybersecurity posture and in, in, in your cybersecurity maturity. No, but they will very shortly. So you, you're going in for a bank loan. If you're smart, you get your cybersecurity ducks in a row before you go in and proactively you tell that banker, oh, by the way, Ms. Banker, we are, we're, our cybersecurity ducks are in a row. Therefore, that shows that we're professional business people. We know what we're doing and we have, uh, our value is protected because of our cybersecurity. See if that doesn't impact your ability to get a bank loan. So a year before, it does it make more of an impact if you go two years out, or is that just to protect yourself as well? Either way, it seems like a good investment. Well, I said a year because it's going to take a year. Okay. Even, even if you're working diligently on it, it's going to take you a year, assuming you don't have an active cybersecurity program already, which most small businesses don't, sure. then it's going to take you a year. And part of that is you need to go figure out whether the bad guys are in there. We look at the, the Marriott Starwood acquisition that happened a couple of years ago, right? The bad guys were inside of Starwood for two years prior to selling to Marriott. Wow. Marriott didn't discover that the, that the bad guys were inside of Starwood for two more years. So the bad guys were ultimately roaming around the, the, the network of the combined Marriott Starwood for four years before they were detected. Now, you know, shame on Marriott for not doing a sufficient right. cyber due diligence to figure out that the bad guys have been in there for two years. Shame on Starwood for not realizing that the bad guys were in there before they sold it. Mm -hmm. So it takes some time to go off and do all this. Sure. Well, I'm sure that's news to business owners. If you're not cybersecurity protected, your valuation is going down. All right, big news. And if you would like more tips or to learn more about the company, either go to their YouTube channel or cybersecurity.com and take note, security is spelled with a C.